Good morning, everyone. We are just having, powering up with the, uh, an Albanian breakfast this morning in a local restaurant here in Saranda. I'm going to flip the camera and let you see my meal here. I understand this is a traditional Albanian breakfast, which is sausage, eggs, cheese, cucumber, tomato, and it looks like a dollop of sour cream on the side. And serving of bread or toast on the side. Uh, actually, our first breakfast out, so it's a nice hearty way to start the day uh, as we are going to explore a bit of Saranda today. We're only part of the way up to the castle, but I want to show you what we get to look at from as we're walking up. It's beautiful, even in the mist. It's still pretty. This is like a plateau right in the middle of the mountains here. Len is just going to go check out the lighthouse and let's follow him. Look at that view. Oh, you think? A bunker. It's a bunker. Yeah. This used to be a bunker. This was probably a turret. Because there's the. Yeah, this was a turret. Yeah. Where they had uh, probably. Because back here is the entrance. I wonder where it leads to. Oh, maybe over there to this castle, this part of the castle. Because there's another. But I, but I think there might be a path over here, but that's okay. Look at that view, guys. Oh, maybe that's the other one. I can't see it. It's just on the other side of the right here. I'll let you hold it and show. Is it filming? Yeah. There's a bunker just you over might have top. To point. Uh, right there in the weeds. I'm going to turn it off. And here is Roxanne celebrating our discovery of a Cold War bunker. We need our flag to put her down. Claim it. Claim our land. Claim our bunker. Right next to the lighthouse. Look at all the silicon. And uh, right on the bottom of the bunker is the window from the bunker, which they would have been looking out onto this view. And at the time, all these weeds wouldn't have been in the way. That's a building over there. We're not sure what that is. That might be an outbuilding of the castle, maybe. There's a couple of structures. And um, back, we still haven't made it to the top there, <laughs> where the castle is up yeah. at the very top. But uh, yeah, there's the lighthouse. And we can see all the way to Greece here, across the water, in the far distance. That would be Greece there. I don't think, I don't think that's Greece. That's a little too close, but way off in the distance, that would be Greece. And possibly that might even be Corfu across through the middle here. Come with me as I get up close and personal with a Cold War bunker. <laughs> so here we have a Cold War bunker 
on that you walk right by on the way up to the castle. I'm gonna show you a little bit of it. Here's the entrance here. It's been filled in quite a bit. I cannot actually do anything other than squat in here. So at one time this would have been a little deeper and I think I go all the way through. There you can see a bit. It's just a round room with a dome roof. Huge concrete dome on the top. So there's a picture. Bunker, Roxanne, <laughs> and the mountains in the valley below. It's beautiful. With a beautiful view, yeah. And it stops raining, so it makes it even... I'm inside the bunker here, trying to get a view of Roxanne looking in, but the sunlight's too bright. This bunker looks like it has 5'9". Bunker 5'9", maybe? Oh, okay. Inside. It's labeled? I think so, yeah. Okay, so I guess we're inside bunker. Or somebody's just put graffiti on five, here. 5'9". I don't know. I can't go any further inside here because I'm literally about a third of the height my right right now I have to squeeze to get in here because yeah. this has all been filled in a lot of weeds and stuff garbage a cool piece of history yes so here I am as best as I can get in here you can see I'm literally sitting in here. This is up close and personal with the uh, Cold War bunker. Monument of culture. The inside has a newer restaurant that's been built here, which is a popular place with the tourists from what I understand. Out overlooking the Ionian Sea. downhill, down there on that hill, I believe, if I'm correct, 
there's also, if you can see her very well, um, foundations of buildings. I believe that's from the village or the town of Lecuries, which surrounded the castle. And the castle was built in 1537. So those may be structures from approximately the same era. And there's, looks like it's also some foundations down in front of the castle here, out looking over and over to the left. In the castle here, there's um, further terraces and they've got a restaurant on the upper terrace there. And you can see Saranda down in the distance there and all along shore here. And way off in the distance there is Greece. And through the middle here, I believe that's Corfu right in the middle there, the furthest off there. I'm enjoying the views, which are beautiful. How is our Highness doing today? Aren't these the best chairs? Like I had to sit. Those are royal, <laughs> royal chairs. They are. They're not very comfortable, but it's okay. It's, it's about the look, not the comfort. They look super <laughs> awesome. to a beautiful panoramic lookout point here. That's the part of Saranda that is on the other side of the mountain of the 40 Monastery of the 40 Saints, straight across here, where we were the other day. And then down on this side of the mountain is Saranda Waterfront. can't see it, part of Saranda goes along here and it goes all the way up over around the bend here. And you got this beautiful terrace, layered terraces at the castle here. <laughs> 